leadership events. For, a job, for the job seeking skill event, you will need three copies of your cover letter and resume. You will need black or blue pens, and you will need a watch. No digital watches, only the watches with the little um, hands on them. And then you will upload this to STEM Premiere, and the website is right there for you guys, so you're going to have to upload it up there. Um, you will not, you'll be given no more than 20 minutes to complete the job application, and you can use your resume for this, so you'll have it next to you when you fill out the application. And then you will have an interview with this, which will be a maximum of five minutes. Thanks. Okay, for the interview skill, um, you will have 30 minutes to complete the job application, and you can use your cover letter and resume for this as well. Um, you should apply to a health-related position in which you are trained in or are being trained in. So this has to relate to you, and it has to be actual like facts on your resume. And this is, has to be a job you can actually be considered for. And you will have this interview for four minutes. You must bring your cover letter and one page resume, three copies of those. And then one question I got that you guys will be prepared for is um, one that evaluates knowledge on the position you are applying to. Otherwise, the other questions, they are secret until you guys are getting interviewed. The next. Okay, health career photography. For you guys that like to take pictures, this is one that's really fun. Uh, you will get to take pictures of a health-related position, profession, I'm sorry. Um, it's three different health professionals performing an aspect of their job. Um, these are very specific when it comes to how they want um, the pictures, how large they want the, the format and the and all that stuff. I put it right here for you guys. If you can see that, yeah, you can see that. They're very specific on how you have to show them the pictures and you will need consent, consent papers for the pictures that you're taking. If you're taking pictures of people, um, we'll help you guys um, create those as well. Um, it tells you right there what's not allowed as well. So for the research persuasive speaking, this one is basically an essay and there's the two topics right here. There's a topic for um, prescription painkiller abuse, who's at fault, and the smartphone addiction, a problem or sign of the time. So this one's a really good one, the phone addiction one. So the research paper is a um, maximum of I think, four pages. It should be, and it tell it has to be an APA format. For those of you who do not know what APA is, you will learn how to do that. And then it tells you I showed right there page one cover page, page two and three the body of the paper, and page four is the work cited. And then there's two rounds in this event, so round two would be your speech. And for the speech, you don't have to say exactly what you wrote in your paper. You can just sum it up and then say the most important things that you feel would persuade the judges. Okay, the next. Prepared speaking and speaking skills. This will be easy for you guys since you're, most of these events are including interviews and speaking publicly and stuff like that. So there's the topic, and this is a maximum of five minutes in length. You can use your notes no props, and um, you will be speaking on the announced topic, nothing else. They will, uh, the judges are going to be looking at these things specifically, but you guys are going to have to, you guys are going to nail these. You're not, you, you're, you don't have to worry about any of that. You're going to be experts in these. So this is just a prepared speaking and speaking skills event. And that's it.